looking at these single point rubrics, there's a few things to keep in mind. Different folks um, and different resources look at single point rubrics in uh, different ways. And these ones have been developed uh, following this particular structure. So you'll notice at the top, the learning outcomes have been written out and they're color coded. And this allows you to take your evidence of learning that you're documenting in the single point rubric and file it in the appropriate space in your reporting structure. As many report cards are designed to be reporting um, by learning outcome. In the box at the top here, you will see a collection of all of the understandings that are part of those cusps that we're looking at. And then underneath, you're going to see um, the skills and procedures really that are coming from the curriculum document in most cases, word for word. The middle column is considered grade level or meeting expectation. So the reason this doesn't have any descriptors for any of the columns is because we are all functioning with different assessment scales in our school authorities. And it's very challenging to develop a rubric that would cross and work for every school district in Alberta because everyone is using a variety of uh, reporting scales and descriptors for those scales. So um, a proficient or a satisfactory in one school authority might be described differently for parents than it is in another school authority. So keeping that in mind, this middle column is the meeting expectations. This is what we want students to be able to do in the grade. If you notice that when you're looking at their piece of writing in this case, they didn't quite make the mark. They didn't exactly do that thing. You're going to add a comment to the left-hand column, and that will go into your reporting system as the approaching or the developing, depending on the wording there. But it's the one just below the achieving on your, on your scale. If the student was totally amazing and knocked it out of the park and, you know, wow comes to mind, then you're going to write a little note in the column that is on the right of the, the middle there. And that is the one that is above. So that is your excelling or some folks have mastery or excellence um, on the reporting scale. If they did exactly what they needed to do, then you just have to circle it or highlight it depending on what system you would like to use. Um, additionally, these are designed so that let's say you haven't had a conversation about conjunctions yet, for example, you can delete that part of the rubric because we don't have to assess on all the things all the time. And so you can decide which of these pieces you would like to be included or attached to this particular writing assignment and adjust the rubric accordingly. Please make sure that you are using this in a way that makes sense for you and your context. And if you have any questions at all, please reach out to your local consortia office.